In child custody cases, the primary concern is always the child's best interests. But what if the court finds that the parents provide equally acceptable homes? Should the child's reasonable preference to live with one parent over the other tip the custody scales in the preferred parent's favor? The Pennsylvania Supreme Court faced this question in the 1992 case, McMillan v. McMillan. When Vaughn and Carolyn McMillan divorced in the early 1980s, Carolyn received primary custody of their young son, Emmett. Vaughn received reasonable visitation rights, meaning that there was no set schedule. Over the course of several years, Vaughn continued to fight for additional visitation and custody rights. Starting in 1986, Emmett made it clear that he preferred to live with Vaughn. Among other reasons, Emmett claimed that he was scared of his stepfather, who mistreated him, and that Carolyn never intervened to stop the mistreatment. Meanwhile, Emmett had positive relationships with Vaughn and his stepmother, who both played an active role in his life. In 1988, a Pennsylvania trial court finally granted primary custody rights to Vaughn, finding that although he and Carolyn provided equally acceptable homes, Emmett preferred to live with Vaughn. The state's intermediate appellate court reversed the custody decision, finding that regardless of where Emmett preferred to live, there were no new circumstances justifying a change in custody. Vaughn then appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. 